now I see you, I hope it will go even better. Are you here to buy? Indeed I am, or I'll have nothing to smelt the ore with, and the king won't get his silver. <laughs> Which king do you mean, Master Tobias? The one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon, or the one who holds the key to the dungeon? These are strange times. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Dopsy-deary. Fuck off, too.
Ma? Ah, Ma! I... I'm hurt. I won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Try your hand at dice. That'll do me. Good health to you, Henry. Now you. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? 
The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too high, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlement You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it, but then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem, we'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right, let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. 
I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight.